In classical deductive logic, a consistent theory is one that does not contain a contradiction. The lack of contradiction can be defined in either semantic or syntactic terms. The semantic definition states that a theory is consistent if and only if it has a model, that is there exists an interpretation under which all formulas in the theory are true. This is the sense used in traditional Aristotelian logic, although in contemporary mathematical logic the term satisfiable is used instead. The syntactic definition states that a theory is consistent if and only if there is no formula P such that both P and its negation are provable from the axioms of the theory under its associated deductive system. If these semantic and syntactic definitions are equivalent for any theory formulated using a particular deductive logic, the logic is called complete. The completeness of the sentential calculus was proved by Paul Bernays in 1918 and Emile Post in 1921 while the completeness of predicate calculus was proved by Kurt Gar paragraph Dell in 1930, and consistency proofs for arithmetics restricted with respect to the induction axiom schema were proved by Ackerman, von Neumann and Herbrand. Stronger logics, such as second-order logic, are not complete. A consistency proof is a mathematical proof that a particular theory is consistent. The early development of mathematical proof theory was driven by the desire to provide finitary consistency proofs for all of mathematics as part of Hilbert's program. Hilbert's program was strongly impacted by incompleteness theorems, which showed that sufficiently strong proof theories cannot prove their own consistency. Although consistency can be proved by means of model theory, it is often done in a purely syntactical way, without any need to reference some model of the logic. The cut elimination implies the consistency of the calculus, since there is obviously no cut-free proof of falsity, there is no contradiction in general. Consistency and completeness in arithmetic and set theory, in theories of arithmetic, such as Peano arithmetic, there is an intricate relationship between the consistency of the theory and its completeness. A theory is complete if, for every formula I in its language, at least one of I or AI is a logical consequence of the theory. Brisberger arithmetic is an axiom system for the natural numbers under addition. It is both consistent and complete. Gar paragraph Dell's incompleteness theorems show that any sufficiently strong effective theory of arithmetic cannot be both complete and consistent. Gar paragraph Dell's theorem applies to the theories of Peano arithmetic and primitive recursive arithmetic but not to Brisberger arithmetic. Moreover, Gar paragraph Dell's second incompleteness theorem shows that the consistency of sufficiently strong effective theories of arithmetic can be tested in a particular way. Such a theory is consistent if and only if it does not prove a particular sentence, called the Gar paragraph Dell sentence of the theory, which is a formalized statement of the claim that the theory is indeed consistent. Thus the consistency of a sufficiently strong Effective, consistent theory of arithmetic can never be proven in that system itself. The same result is true for effective theories that can describe a strong enough fragment of arithmetic a euro including set theories such as Emilo or euro frankel set theory. These set theories cannot prove their own Gar paragraph del sentences a euro provided that they are consistent, which is generally believed. Because consistency of ZF is not provable in ZF. The weaker notion relative consistency is interesting in set theory. If T is a theory and A is an additional axiom, T plus A is said to be consistent relative to T if it can be proved that if T is consistent then T plus A is consistent. If both A and A are consistent with T, then A is said to be independent of T. First order logic, notation, ash sent in the following context of mathematical logic, means provable from. That is, an ash sent B reads, B is provable from a, C list of logic symbols. In other cases, the turnstile symbol may stand to mean and fuzz. Derived from C, list of mathematical symbols. Definition, a set of formulas in first order logic is consistent if and only if there is no formula such that and otherwise is inconsistent and is written incorporated is said to be simply consistent if and only if for no formula of, both and the negation of a theorems of, is said to be absolutely consistent or post-consistent if and only if at least one formula of is not a theorem of. 
is said to be maximally consistent if and only if for every formula, if com then is said to contain witnesses if and only if for every formula of the form there exists a term such that. See first order logic. Basic results, the following are equivalent, incorporated, for all. Every satisfiable set of formulas is consistent, where a set of formulas is satisfiable if and only if there exists a model such that. For all and, if not, then con. If con and, then con. If con, then con or con. Let be a maximally consistent set of formulas and contain witnesses. For all and, if, then either or, if and only if or, if and, then, if and only if there is a term such that. Henkin's theorem, let be a maximally consistent set of formulas containing witnesses. Define a binary relation on the set of terms such that if and only if. And let denote the equivalence class of terms containing. And let where is the set of terms based on the symbol set. Define the structure over the term structure corresponding to by, for R, if and only if. For R. For. Let be the term interpretation associated with, where. For all, if and only if. Sketch of proof, there are several things to verify. First, that is an equivalence relation. Then, it needs to be verified that and are well defined. This falls out of the fact that is an equivalence relation and also requires a proof that and are independent of the choice of class representatives. Finally, can be verified by induction on formulas. See also Equi consistency, Hilbert's problems, Hilbert's second problem, Jan Angstrom Makassiewicz, paraconsistent logic, hypermail consistency, footnotes, Tarski 1946 states it this way. A deductive theory is called consistent or non contradictory if no two asserted statements of this theory contradict each other, or in other words, if of any two contradictory sentences at least one cannot be proved, where Tarski defines contradictory as follows, with the help of the word not one forms the negation of any sentence. Two sentences, of which the first is a negation of the second, are called contradictory sentences. This definition requires a notion of proof. Gar Paragraph Dell in his 1931 defines the notion this way, the class of provable formulas is defined to be the smallest class of formulas that contains the axioms and is closed under the relation immediate consequence, that is formula C of A and B is defined as an immediate consequence in terms of modus ponens or substitution. CF Gar Paragraph Dell 1931 Van Heijnut 1967 601 Tarski defines proof informally as statements follow one another in a definite order according to certain principles and accompanied by considerations intended to establish their validity. True conclusion for all true premises, Reichenbach 1947 68, C.F. Tarski 1946 3. Clean 1952 defines the notion with respect to either an induction or as to paraphrase. A finite sequence of formulas such that each formula in the sequence is either an axiom or an immediate consequence of the preceding formulas. A proof is said to be a proof of its last formula, and this formula is said to be provable or be a theorem cf clean 1952-83. Paraconsistent logic tolerates contradictions, but toleration of contradiction does not entail consistency. Van Heijnut 1967-265 states that Bernays determined the independence of the axioms of Principia Mathematica, a result not published until 1926, but he says nothing about Bernays proving their consistency. Post proves both consistency and completeness of the propositional calculus of PM, C.F. Van Heijnut's commentary and Post's 1931 introduction to a general theory of elementary propositons in Van Heijnut 1967-264 ff. Also Tarski 1946-134 ff. C.F. Van Heijnut's commentary and Gar Paragraph Dell's 1930 The Completeness of the Axioms of the Functional Calculus of Logic in Van Heijnut 1967-582 ff. C.F. Van Heijnut's commentary and her brand's 1930 on the consistency of arithmetic in Van Heijnut 1967-618 ff. References Stephen Clean, 1952 Tenth Impression 1991, Introduction to Metamathematics, 
North Holland Publishing Company, Amsterdam, New York, ISBN 0-7204-2103-9. Hans Reichenbach, 1947, Elements of Symbolic Logic, Dover Publications, Inc. New York, ISBN 0-486-24004-5, Alfred Tarski. 1946, Introduction to Logic and to the Methodology of Deductive Sciences, Second Edition, Dover Publications, Inc., New York, ISBN 0-486-28462-X. Jean van Heijnut, 1967, From Frege to Gar Paragraph Dell, A Source Book in Mathematical Logic, Harvard University Press, Cambridge, Massachusetts, ISBN 0-674-32449-8, The Cambridge Dictionary of Philosophy, Consistency, H. D. Ebbinghaus, J. Flem, W. Thomas, Mathematical Logic, Jevons, W. S., 1870, Elementary Lessons in Logic, External Links, Chris Mortensen, Inconsistent Mathematics, Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy.